Hey everyone. As I talk to commercial real estate investors all over the country, the topic that keeps coming up centers on pricing. In a nutshell, prospective buyers keep telling me that commercial real estate prices are too high. As for sellers, they fall into two camps. The ones who are motivated because they have an issue with the underlying loan, they have some sort of ownership issues, or it's simply time to harvest the asset. Then there's the ones who aren't actually motivated. They don't have an impending debt issue or any real pressure to liquidate the asset. The sellers in the first group are generally moving to a market clearing price, while the owners in the second group obviously won't come to market at all because they believe their property will be worth more in the future. And yes, this disconnect has slowed sales activity. The total number of commercial real estate transactions over $1 million in the first half of this year is down a dramatic 41% compared to last year. But we've still seen nearly 30,000 $1 million plus properties trade hands in the first half of 2023. That's about the same as we saw in the first half of 2015. And it's about 20% higher than the 20 year average transaction velocity. So obviously, there's not a total disconnect between buyers and sellers. Transactions are still getting done. Granted, most of the velocity is in the lower price tiers. In the first half of this year, 87% of the transactions were between one and $10 million, which is the highest share we've seen since 2010 when we were coming out of the global financial crisis. This reflects the greater share of activity being done by private investors, the lower leverage requirements by lenders, and the greater lending liquidity at lower price points. But many buyers are still on the sidelines. They keep saying the same thing. Why invest in commercial real estate when I can get 5.5% on a six-month treasury? And most commercial real estate properties on the market are offering a cap rate below the cost of debt. Basically, most commercial real estate loans are running somewhere in the 6% to 7% range, while the cap rates on most properties coming to the market are somewhere between the mid 5% to low 7% range. And for many investors, that math just doesn't work. But again, almost 30,000 commercial real estate deals were done in the first half of this year. So obviously, someone figured this out. So here are five reasons investors still see opportunities in commercial real estate and why they're still buying properties. First, the property being purchased may have an assumable loan that still has some term left that keeps the going in rate on the debt below market and the number still pencil. Second, there are still value add deals out there. Even if the going in cap rate seems low, for the right investor, there may be upside potential they can tap into through property upgrades, changes in leases, bringing in new tenants, creating management or cost efficiencies, or some other unique strategy. The third reason investors are still seeing opportunity is because they believe interest rates will come down at some point in the next couple years, and they'll be able to refinance at a lower rate. The fourth reason is that the buyer sees local, metro, or neighborhood level changes coming in the future that will change the property's dynamics. For example, the property may be in a neighborhood that the investor thinks will gentrify over the next few years. And the fifth reason is because the investor is thinking long term. They're considering where the market, submarket, and the property will be positioned in five to seven years or at some other anticipated exit point. They may be looking at demographics, migration trends, employment trends, barriers to entry, barriers to the addition of new supply, or some other structural change that will affect the property. For a while, investing in real estate became a simple math equation. The strong tailwinds driving the market, both in terms of fundamentals, as well as the inflow of capital, together with exceptionally low cost debt, made real estate investing much simpler. Today, we're moving back into what I would consider to be a more normal real estate investing climate, where expertise, relationships, and knowledge carry a higher value. Investors have to be able to look at the asset and see a specific reason to make that acquisition. 
They have to see upside potential and unique market dynamics that will favor that property going forward. That makes market information, insight, and expertise particularly valuable. The current market favors investors who can look past the noise of today and who keep their eyes on the horizon.